you think that we think is cool? What you think that we think is cool? What you think that we think is cool? What you think that we think is cool? So what I'm gonna say is I'm going to show you a new way to basically run another uh, operating system within your computer. So basically, to get started, you just go to um, this link that's provided in the in the description box, virtualbox.org, and uh, download this if you have uh, Windows, and this if you have Linux. But we're going to be installing Linux. I'm not sure if they have it for Mac. So yeah, they do. And um, what's called? So yeah, here's let's get started now basically what you want to do is download that program and it should look like this let me just find it on my uh, desktop and let me open it up okay see right here um what's called this is this is uh basically what you're gonna see when you get it when you download it it's gonna be like I don't know like 10 minutes to download it. Um, I, I kind of forgot how long it took. But anyways, next step is to go to the internet again. And well, you could download basically anything. You could pirate it from piratebay.org and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, here let's just go to uh, Puppy Linux. Okay. No, that's the wrong one. <coughs> I think it's this one. Nope. This one. Nope. Okay, it has to be this one. Yes, it's this, it's this one. Now, download this file. I already downloaded it, so I don't need to. Um, and now, what you have to do is, when you go to... Uh, virtual machine and uh, new. Uh, I'm just doing new because um, I already have mine, so I'm just showing you how to go through setup. Name it whatever. I just name it Bob. Okay. And then your operating system here and your version. I'm uh, running Vista 64 bit. Next. This you could upgrade your uh, RAM. I wouldn't go too high to crash your computer. So I would just put it, I don't know. I like mine. Just at about 12. Uh, create new hard disk. Next. Dynamically expanding storage. Okay, this one I like to put on 5 because I'm not going to take that much. Actually, for this one, I'm just going to do example. So I'm going to put it on like uh, 100 megabits. Okay. I can't get it. I'm just gonna do 98. Okay. Uh, finish, and that's that. Okay, finish. Now you see another one here pops up, Bob. I and then to turn on it, the virtual computer basically. Click next, next. Forget about it. Okay. Just wait for it to boot up, and then you're gonna get this message: Fatal new bootable menu. Uh, medium found. System halted. Now you have to go to device CD and DVD drives and since you have the ISO just go <coughs> and find the ISO so well I already found it but what you go to do is add and go to downloads document no desktop okay downloads okay Lupu that's the one that we downloaded see I already added it and it doesn't work but anyways <coughs> when I click it, my CD drives opens for some reason, and um, now close this, power off the machine, and turn it on again, and you should get this. Come on. And this doesn't, uh, you should see that it doesn't even slow down or anything, it's pretty fast, even though when I'm recording right now. And then out of that. Okay, here you go. Capture. Okay. 
Thrash this message again. <coughs> ah, whatever. I'm not gonna enter full screen mode, but whatever. I'll just point. <coughs> now at this point, when I click that, my mouse is no longer eligible to be used by um by my computer, so I have to use it only in this. And here we go. You can do anything basically in here, like, to mess around. It's kind of fun to have, like, a second operating system within your computer. Uh, this is for fun, and this is the Excel to hope this helped.